How to Rebuild a Knife Gate Cylinder Actuator This video will show you how to rebuild a knife gate cylinder actuator from Desuric. These instructions are specific to the Desuric Type E actuator, but Types A through E are covered in the instruction manual. Refer to the instruction and operating manual for the rebuild procedure. Follow all warning messages in the instruction and operating manual and utilize all appropriate personal protective equipment. To rebuild the actuator, we'll be replacing all of the O-rings and seals, including the thread seal on the adjusting screw, the cylinder tube O-ring on the cylinder cap, the piston seal, and piston wear ring, the cylinder tube O-ring on the cylinder head. On the cartridge assembly, we will replace the O-ring, rod U-cup seal, and rod wiper seal. To rebuild the cylinder, you will need an adjustable wrench, a spanner wrench, a pick, a torque wrench, lubricant, and the actuator rebuild kit. Before we begin, it's important to ensure both sides of the cylinder are depressurized. To ensure this, it's best to remove the air supply lines. You can see our open supply ports here. The first item we'll replace is the thread seal on the adjusting screw. Simply loosen the jam nut then unscrew the adjusting screw. Replace the thread seal. Reinstall the adjusting screw. And tighten the jam nut. In order to access the seals inside the cylinder, we need to remove the cylinder cap and cylinder tube. Start by removing the nuts and washers from the tie rods. Remove the cylinder cap, then the cylinder tube. Make sure the piston assembly does not come out with the cylinder tube. Remove the piston rod assembly. For a Type E cylinder, we now need to remove the cartridge assembly. Using a spanner wrench, Remove the cartridge assembly by unscrewing it. Remove the O-ring seal from the cylinder cap. Remove the piston seal and wear ring from the piston. Remove the O-ring from the cylinder head. From the cartridge assembly, remove the O-ring, rod wiper seal, and rod U-cup seal. Clean the grooves on the cartridge, cylinder head, cylinder cap, and piston. Clean the bore of the cylinder head. To assemble the cartridge, lubricate the grooves with an appropriate O-ring lubricant. Lubricate the O-ring and seals prior to installing in the cartridge. Place the cartridge O-ring into its groove. Insert the rod U-cup seal into its groove, making sure it lies flat in the groove and that the U will be facing into the cylinder once assembled. Insert the rod wiper seal into its groove. Install the cartridge assembly by screwing it into the cylinder head. Tighten with the spanner wrench. To assemble the cylinder, Lubricate the groove in the cylinder head, then lubricate and install the O-ring. Carefully install the piston rod. Lubricate the grooves in the piston. Lubricate and install the wear ring and piston seal onto the piston.
Install the cylinder tube by sliding it over the piston. The piston seal must be well lubricated. If you have trouble installing the cylinder tube, you can try starting the cylinder tube at a 45 degree angle. In order to do this, you will have to remove at least one of the tie rods. Lubricate the groove on the cylinder cap, then lubricate and install the O-ring. Install the cylinder cap onto the cylinder tube. Place the washers on the tie rods. Tighten the nuts on the tie rods until finger tight. Finally, the nuts should be torqued to the values listed in the instruction manual. You have successfully rebuilt your knife gate cylinder actuator. Now that assembly is complete, reinstall the actuator on the valve, reconnect the air lines, perform a stroke test, and adjust the cylinder stroke as needed.